The RHS's Green in Grey Britain campaign is all about transforming grey spaces into green. And one of the trickiest places to do this is in urban front gardens. Today I'm in Greenford, West London, on a typical suburban street, the type you see pretty much anywhere in the country, where front gardens are paved over and there's a car parked in front of pretty much every house. It's easy to think you have to make a choice between paving or planting in your front garden, but I'm here to meet Malcolm, who's keen to do both. Malcolm, hi. Hi, Helen. So this is your garden? Yes, but it's not much of a garden. What made you decide to pave it? Just purely for practical reasons, I needed space to park both, the, both my cars. But if you could have a dream garden, what would that look like? I still want to maintain the fact that I've got space for two cars, mm -hmm. but as much plants and, and uh, greenery as possible around the edge. Over the next few days, we're going to turn Malcolm's garden from a grey car park into a practical green front garden that looks lovely, but which still allows him to park both his cars. I am here on day two of the build to meet Caro, the designer, to see just how we're going to make this happen. Caro, very nice to meet you. And you too. Is it easy to fit a parking space, even two, onto a front garden? What we do is we plant ev absolutely everywhere that we can. So we plant around the edges, we plant up onto the house, we plant onto the wall behind us, and even underneath the cars. Surely the plants will just die under a parked car. Fortunately, the parked cars move off during the day, so it means that the plants have access to light and rainfall, and we deliberately choose plants that can cope in those sort of rather odd drought-tolerant conditions. I guess you've got to address things like drainage as well. That's right, because obviously with a front garden, we don't want water rushing out onto the pavements and into drains, so we, we use permeable paving. Is this one of those grids? Yeah, so this is a recycled plastic grid, and we put gravel into the pavement we don't see the grid at all once the gravel's gone in and then when it rains the water goes through the gravel and into the soil below. If you're going to park cars this is obviously a really solid base and then it stops the gravel shifting around. If gardeners wanted to do this at home in their own front garden would they have to make all these changes? No, the most important thing is that they put in some plants somewhere and if they've got hard paving that they take the hard paving up, maybe put down gravel or I would always say more plants. It's now day five of the build and the plants are going in. But with so many plants to choose from, it's hard to know where to begin. Lee, you're a horticultural advisor at the RHS. Have you got any tips for people wanting to get the best plants for the front garden? Yes, but it's very really fine any space to get some plants in. So for example, we haven't gone for a wall here down the side. We've actually got a hedge which the birds can nest in. It's got flowers for the insects and it'll help trap air pollution too. What about all the trellis area? We're getting climbers up there. So things like clematis and honeysuckle mm. and as well as looking great because they're going to flower in the summer months, we're going to insulate the house so it'll make it cooler in the summertime and actually warmer in the winter and you might save up to 15% on your heating bills. The other major planting area is of course under the cars. Um, what on earth do you, do you pick for that spot? We need really tough plants that are going to cope with those conditions. So things like creeping jenny and thymes. So rather than coming home to paving, you're going to come home to flowers, which is going to make you feel really good too. What do you think? It's finished. It's absolutely fantastic. It's more than I ever expected. Um, and it's, they've gone far beyond whatever I anticipated from the original plans. So it's brilliant. Great. Somewhere to park your car and a garden as well. Absolutely. Malcolm's gone off to get his car, but I think it's safe to say he's thrilled with his front garden. If you'd like to learn more about the RHS's Green and Grey Britain campaign, get ideas on transforming your front garden and pledge to make a change, visit rhs.org.uk forward slash ggb. Mm -hmm.